My main thing is the tension. If you haven't got the dog's tension, you just haven't got anything, basically. Um, dog's attention and the want to please you. That's what I look for, really. The celebs and their training, some did more than others. And I think it showed at the end of the day. Well, I think agility is probably easier than the doggy dancing. <laughs> because, you know, you see the equipment in front of you and you either do it or you don't. And most dogs quite like agility. Give me a paw. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yes, and the winner <laughs> is Colin <laughs> Welland. No, right, right. But with the Hear Witch Music or Doggy Dancing, um, they have to learn so many different little moves and then put them together themselves. So that is a little bit more difficult, I would say. As the saying goes, never work with animals or children, but it all went very well. I think the Skeps did really well with their dogs, given the time that they were given to train. Some of them forgot that they were actually there training the dog and they are not actually playing to the gallery, as it were. Um, so therefore, at the beginning, playing to the crowd took away from the dog training. Later on, they got a bit more into it, forgot about that. That came secondary to trying to get the dog to do that. Tara and Mark, I think, did a brilliant job. She made me smile most of the time. I mean, I just, I thought I was in the pages of Hello Magazine watching her and uh, the antics that she got up to. But it's very crowd-pleasing and, you know, just everybody loved her. Um, she liked showing her bottom quite a bit. Um, and I think Dougal quite liked it as well. Hey, hey, <laughs>